back. We're on the final part of CSS, uh, sorry, learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers on free code camp. And we're on step 91, and I believe there's only a couple more steps to go. So well done for making it this far. Um, but anyway, next, update the color value of the red markers box shadow property. And we want to rename the color to be an RGB function. I'm going to use 83 for red, 14 for green, 14 for blue, and 0.8 for the alpha channel. And sorry, that needs to be an RGBA because we've got the alpha there. So let's check that code. Perfect. So the shadows for green and blue markers will have the same position, um, blur and spread. The only difference will be the colors. So for the green and blue, which are these ones, um, we want to update the box shadow. So that will all be, so zero, zero, zero. Box, um, blur radius is 20 pixels. Sorry, and the spread is zero. So actually it's just two zeros, 20 pixels, two. And then we want to leave the colors. And what I'm gonna do is just copy that and put that down here as well. And I think that's right. Well, certainly that looks like it's applying the right um, blur and radius. Perfect. So step 93, for the green markers box shadow property, place the named color with a hex color code. Um, and we're gonna use so over here, a hex color, and it's 3B7E20. And we also want CC for the alpha channel. So all you do is you just add that onto the end, and you'll see there that is now applying this color. So let's check that code, and perfect. And then step 94, finally, for the blue markers box shadow, replace the named color with the HSLA function. So I'll do HSLA, and we'll open that up. And for so for hue, it's 223, 59% saturation, 31% for lightness, and 0.8 for the alpha channel. And so I think we need a comma there. And there we go. That is looking like the shadow. You might not be able to see it on my screen here, um, but it's, it's looking good. Cool, and that passes. And there we go. I think that was the, um, yeah, the, the end of the challenge. That was learn CSS colors by building a set of colored markers. So thanks for watching the whole thing. I um, hope it was useful. And as you can see in the next videos, we'll be building a HTML registration form. So yeah, look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching.